Severance Rocket NVMe SSDs come in capacities from 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes using Toshiba's Bix TLC 3D NAND technology for speeds of up to 3,450 megabytes per second read and 3,000 megabytes per second write. Rocket SSDs feature an over-provision area, advanced wear leveling, and lower power consumption compared to traditional storage media, backed up by a one-year extendable warranty to two via product registration, making the Rocket a cost-effective way to expand your PC's storage performance. Sarah measures drive performance using freely available tools like Crystal Disk Mark so that you can test their performance claims for yourself and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with the truth in advertising. Thanks to its standard M.2 form factor, you can use them with Saverin's USB NVMe enclosure, small form factor PCs, or literally anywhere you can find a PCIe Express M-keyed M.2 slot. Just insert the pins, screw it down, and you're good to go. Pick one up today. If your Saverin M.2 drive isn't showing up for you, first double check that the M.2 slot on your motherboard supports NVMe or PCIe Express. Usually this is printed near the slot, but you may need to refer to your motherboard or computer manual to verify. If you're sure that the slot is correct and you're having trouble, Try reseating your SSD. Remove the retention screw holding it in place and slide it out of its slot. Then place it into the slot again at about a 45 degree angle and make sure to keep it snug as you press it down and replace the retention screw. In some cases, you might also need to go to your PC's UEFI setup. Refer to manual for exact steps on how to get into it, but typically you can repeatedly press delete or F2 key when you power your computer on. Once there, you can find the setting for your M.2 slot usually under advanced and a heading related to storage. Make sure it's for the slot you've installed your SSD into and change it from serial ATA or SATA to PCI Express. And if it's not already, set it that way. Save your changes and reboot, and now you should have a working SSD. Bear in mind that if you're adding a drive to the system that's already running an operating system, you'll need to initialize and format the disk before you can use it. To do that, right click on the start button and then press disk management. It should automatically ask you to initialize the disk but if not, use the lower section to find your SSD, right click it, then click initialize. From here, you'll want to right click where it says unpartition space, and then click create partition. Follow the prompts and you should now have a new SSD visible as a drive in file explorer. Finally, if you've been using your SSD for a while and find yourself with lower performance than you're used to, make sure to optimize your SSD from time to time. Windows should automatically do this for you, but if you can do it yourself by opening File Explorer, selecting the drive, and going to the drive tools on the ribbon and choosing Optimize. In your new window that opens, choose your SSD and then click Optimize to trim the drive for improved performance. You already know SSDs shorten load times and get you to the game way faster. Samsung's new 970 SSDs use the NVMe interface for the fastest possible speeds for your PC. Gives you quicker load times, lower latency, for the best gaming experience possible. Less waiting, more playing. Samsung SSDs. Load fast, play fast. Comrade, Samsung SSD. It's a wonderful product. You should get one. Believe me. Hey guys, this is Austin. 
WD reached out and wanted to sponsor a video on their WD Blue SSDs. If you watch my gaming PC builds, you'll know that I've been using WD Blue hard drives for years, and while they're great if you need a lot of storage, once you experience an SSD, it is hard to go back. Upgrading is easy. You can pick up the blue SSD in two sizes, a standard two and a half inch drive as well as an M2. An SSD makes a big difference in loading times for apps and especially Windows, but they're also helpful for gaming. Not only do you get quicker loading times, but especially with big open world games, having an SSD means that you're not going to be bottlenecked by the hard drive. Since the blue is using WD's 3D NAND tech, it's also reliable. It's rated for 400 terabytes of writes and 1.75 million hours of use before failure. And because you can get the WD blue in a standard two and a half inch drive, that also means that you can upgrade a game console such as the PS4. Typically, when using an SSD, it meant that you had to make a trade-off. On one hand, you had a really fast drive, but on the other, you are paying a lot of money for that drive, and it also didn't have a lot of capacity. However, things have gotten a lot better. That extra space can come in handy, as an SSD performs best when you leave around 10-15% to of the drive free. An SSD is one of the best ways to make even an old computer feel fast, and with up to 560 megabytes of sequential read speed, if you're still on a standard hard drive, now is the time to upgrade.